This is Natural Powerlifting Radio. Deadlifts, chicken nuggets, video games. This is Check My Total, a powerlifting podcast with Timothy Payne and Andrew Henson. Welcome to another episode of Check My Total. In this episode, we got a, quite a plethora of guests going on today. We got Don Craig and uh, Stephen Archer, and then Bree, who I can't remember whose last name is. Ours. <laughs> oh, okay. You're dropping the ball, Andrew. I know. I'm dropping the <laughs> ball. I'm, I'm terrible. And on top of that, they're all Iron Boy elite lifters. Yeah, they're all super duper strong. A bunch of bunch of monsters. Well, how are you guys doing today? Doing good. Doing pretty good. Caffeinated up. <laughs> so you said no. you were working this morning? Yeah. I work from uh, about three thirty to ten. Oh my goodness. That ain't bad. <laughs> Wait, what what do you do? I prep for my routine. Okay. Oh, okay. Little side job, you know. Do y'all yeah. still have your uh, farm animals and stuff? Oh yeah, we got a uh, ducks, chickens. We didn't get any pigs this year, or we went vegetarian. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, we're harvesting eggs. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Hey, that sounds cool. How's that vegetarian life going? Is it going pretty well? Oh yeah, I love it, man. Wait, what? What kind of? What, what do you mean by vegetarian? I always get these things mixed up. What's a vegetarian? What's a vegan? Well, I think vegetarian is where you include eggs and dairy. Okay. And then a vegetarian is where you don't consume anything from uh, animals. I think Bree can. Yeah, vegetarian, you can eat an animal product without like harming the animal. But vegan doesn't have anything to do with animals. Like no dairy, no eggs. They don't even eat honey. Um, they don't like wear wool. So oh. We're not that extreme. We're just not killing animals. Gotcha. Huh? Man, so 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 eggs are still good. Yeah, that's one of our main sources, really. Okay. And, you know, and some people can be a little bit stricter with it, where um, at the eggs fertilized then that's not considered vegetarian. Because you're, like, stopping okay. alive. But to yeah. us, we don't care. We're, you know, <laughs> we eat egg, we eat butter and cheese and milk. Okay. And like, every milk. <laughs> oh, oh, this is something I learned the other day. That I, I think, <laughs> I guess I'm just really dumb. But I thought that all eggs would hatch. Like, I thought that, <laughs> I thought that every egg that it that a chicken laid would hatch, and right. so like, I did. I had, I had no idea that the rooster had to like fertilize the egg, and then it would hatch. I thought all eggs would hatch. Yeah, we actually hatched out some of our own ducks this year, and um, all of them weren't fertilized. Like all the eggs that she was sitting on wasn't fertilized, and so we got eight out of ten. So that means two of them are sitting there rotting for. 30 days. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. So how did all three of y'all meet? Well, me and Steve have been good friends ever since we were little with, like, Easy League football. Okay. And then uh, and in high school, we got tired of playing against each other because we played for each other's rival teams. Okay. So our senior year, Sen- I kind of called Steve to come up to our high school and just Dominate. Yeah, dominate. <laughs> yeah, he put together a good recruiting, recruiting pitch, and I came. <laughs> well, did it all work out? Oh, yeah. We uh, actually beat his whole team. Nice. Hey, there and you then go. We, started, we actually started something to where if a high school player transferred to school, they can't play that season. Yeah, we caused all kinds of ruckus with that because everybody started transferring and moving. And it was like kind of like free agency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I That's pretty cool. What positions did y'all play? I was back and stay with the tailback. Back and stay with the tailback. 
Okay. I don't know what a tailback is. <laughs> running back. Running back. Come on, Andrew. Uh, I'm still... Andrew ain't a sports guy. I I, uh, don't, I I don't watch many sports. Although I play we 2K don't a lot. <laughs> hey, do, do you have 2K on your PS4 NBA? Uh, see, do I have a what? 2K. <laughs> 2K. Yeah, yeah, on your PS4. Oh yeah. Oh, we gotta play sometime. Yeah, I'm horrible. I have yet to win a basketball game on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andrew beat me by what 50 yesterday. Yeah. Oh man, Hold it was on. rough. But that's kind of what happens to me when I play on rookie <laughs> <laughs> by the computer. Oh man. So, Ugh. was lifting weights just something that grew out of playing football? No, that was – well, actually, yeah. Um, both Steve and me suffered, like, real bad injuries. And I know Steve had a bad ankle injury when we was little. And so, during his recovery phase, he did not put bench press and do curls. That's <laughs> 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 bro. That kind of started it right there. <clears throat> Yeah, it's always been something we've been into, for sure. And around our area, there really ain't no place to live, seriously. We've got two gyms, but they're more like fitness centers. Yeah. So we just uh, was sitting around one day, and Steve has a basement underneath his house, and we threw a power rack and a bench press in there, and it started. That's how big gym started. Yeah, it started with two of us in one room, and then next thing you know, we get Bree in, and then Don's brother, and then he introduces us to powerlifting, and then it's like blows our mind how awesome and fun it is, and then we just keep adding pieces of equipment, and then here we are years later, you know, like five years later, still going at it. Are you still Not in the basement? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did a play more, Sunday. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'll have to check it out. It's not your average basement. That's what I usually tell people when they're, you know, from the outside, you can't tell what we have. But then you come in here, and, you know, we have three squat racks and two benches, two deadlift platforms, you know, a whole machine room with cable pull downs, glute ham raise, leg press, chest support. I mean, we got really everything you need. It's a big old basement. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's real big. Yeah, it's real big. I mean, we can fit probably 15 people in here training at one time. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Yeah. So, yeah. man, that's how you do it right there. <laughs> screw yeah, the a, other, screw the other gyms. Just make a gym in your own house. Uh, and that, that's yeah, the thing. For real. And we bring an atmosphere that you can't find anywhere near us. Yeah, I got really tired. Yeah. I got really tired getting stared at at the gym. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, that's yeah. how I got a lot of people because there's so many people that wanted to get into lifting, but they didn't want that commercial gym atmosphere. And then slowly everybody heard about our place and, you know, they would get in here and they would just fall in love with it. They was like, man, this is just like a gym off pumping iron or something. The atmosphere yeah. is crazy. You know, you can't help but get better. And then it just got so competitive in here. We're all pushing each other. And it's, it's just been a real fun process. What's the name of your gym and where are you located? It's called the Bad Influence Gym. And we're located in uh, 57 Rosebud Drive in Bryson City, North Carolina. All right. Cool. Yeah. Wait, so yeah, we've been officially open since 2016, but we've been kind of working towards getting it how we wanted since 2013. Okay. So is it yeah. open to the public or like? The yeah, public? but like um, the way we run it is because of our space being limited and the type of athletes we have in here now. We don't just take any average Joe off the street anymore. So you basically contact me, and uh, we set up a way for you to get in here. First visit's free, and then I make custom programs. Me and Don train people. And, you know, we just go from there. You know, we just go from there. Yeah, we don't just let people stop in right now. But the, but the, the goal is by the end of the year, we're working on putting together a bigger building. We're actually going to move out of here. Because, because it's, 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 it's crazy and demand higher and higher and want to kind of spread more than what other people know. So that's awesome. I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's been a fun process. 
That's the way we kind of did it when we had our place open. It was more of a club than a gym, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's basically what we say. I mean, we're the big powerlifting club, but it's a part of the bad influence gym. So. Yeah. That's really neat. That's, I, li- I like that, how you filter people. I think that's cool. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you got you, yes. you got to let serious people inside. <laughs> yeah, that, and that's the way we do it, you know. I mean, people contact us, and, you know, we let them in, and if you're not serious and you get in this atmosphere and you're seeing people move 600 pounds for reps in here and, you know, people squat maxes on bench press, then they're probably, if it's not for you, you're not going to come back. <laughs> yeah. But if you, you know, if you like that, if you, you know, if you like that type of stuff, you're going to be motivated to get better, and you're going to get in with us. Well, and it keeps like the creeps out. <laughs> people that come are ready to do work. Yeah. <laughs> Bree's like, I'm just tired of people staring at me. Trouble, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just need a place where I can go where no one's going to look at me. <laughs> it's true. I, I mean, people, like, do their own thing, you know. We, like, any kind of cheer center on is the forty center, but. You yeah. yeah, everybody comes in and does their own work. You know, we're all, I mean, sometimes we're all in the same program, sometimes we're on different programs, but everybody, you know, I, just like I tell the guys, you know, we all come in here, we clock in, we get to work. You know, nobody's in here really bullshitting, you know, yeah. cutting around. It's time to get to work when we're in here. <laughs> so were you lifting weights before you met Dawn and Steven, Bree? Um... No, not not enough to say that I was. Um, I did take a powerlifting or not a powerlifting, but a weightlifting class in high school. In but it was mostly school, because it was, it was mostly because because first period, it was first and period, and I don't show up on time. So, so <laughs> that was my way of getting to school late. late. But after I got out of school, me and Don's been together since I was fourteen. So okay, we've I've watched Don grow in powerlifting. And bodybuilding and everything. And I'd say after he got really serious into competing with um, bodybuilding, he was at the gym more. And so that encouraged me to go to the gym just to, you know, be together and spend time together. But I wasn't going to go just to watch him. If I'm going to pay to be there, then I'm going to do something. And so once I started, I just really fell into it. And I don't know, having the support, I know a lot of people can't just put their stuff. Having Don with me, I can say, make it go harder. Maybe feel like I was doing something right instead of just making it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really cool. Y'all been together since you're 14. Yeah, we've been committed. <laughs> oh my god, that's a long time. Yeah. Well, I was 15, she was 14. Yeah, congrats on that baby. Thank you. Do you hear him? You hear him? He's here. <laughs> She's in the house, too. Yeah, so he's starting his you, career. He's doing curls with Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> he's a really big boy. The other day, we got asked if he was like 10 months old, and he's almost five months. <laughs> How big is he? He's a. Uh, Almost 20 pounds. Like oh, my goodness. Old. That's a massive yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a big boy. I'm glad we're super weight. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a big baby because y'all are tiny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> At least Bree is. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's healthy, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, that's all you can ask for. Hey, yeah, that's it. Right. He's going to be like a... 270, 300 pounds. <laughs> oh, There's no talent. The super heavyweights. Yeah, I'm making play soccer though. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, Dawn, what what weight are you walking around at now? I was 184 this morning. Oh my goodness, man! I think uh, I think everyone else is getting. <laughs> man i think john john and michael they, they in the 200s and even even myself i weighed myself this morning i'm in the 200s well, when you're eating mcdonald's every single morning <laughs> hey i see them like not taco bell runs hey He's the, vegetarian <laughs> man those those fast food restaurants man they're they're good 
Every time you eat out, you lose every pounds. Every time you eat out, you lose pounds off your total, Andrew. Uh, no, no. Just, don't, <laughs> don't stop to go to Burger King. <laughs> hey, I don't eat this stuff. No, the Burger King's got a dollar sixty nine for ten chicken nuggets. That's the best deal I've ever seen in my life. Dude, dude, when you can't even buy chicken for a dollar sixty nine, what do you think you're eating? <laughs> Are you really eating chicken? I mean, it probably ain't chicken. It's probably pink tofu and stuff, but it's good. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Our tofu nuggets are really good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will not take this on tofu. It's all in how you cook it. <laughs> no, my goodness. Do y'all use uh, oil when you cook? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mostly coconut oil, but we use all kinds of stuff. Okay. Wow. Well, what are you walking around at, Steven? Uh, probably about like 205 to 208 right now. Oh, my Hey, Steven, I was wondering if you were going to make your way down to the 120 weight class. <laughs> My goodness. How many weight classes have you been in in the past month, man? <laughs> I know, man. It's uh, I've done the 165, the 181, 198, 220, then back down to the 205 for the USAPL. Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably will make the 148s next month. Um. <laughs> You're trending the right way. Yeah. Right. So, Steve, I got Do these weight cuts like affect you at all? No, we we take a bunch of water pills, and you know that shrink wrap stuff. You know that shrink wrap stuff. <laughs> we just wrap them in that all week. But but really, they uh they do affect you. You know, you're never gonna get what you had when you're water cutting twenty twenty five pounds off usually, unless you have a help with drugs. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. It's just been a learning process every time I've done it, really. You know, I've never took into account how much I've lost. Like when I competed at 165, that made – I felt really good during that time. But now I go back and look at my pictures and stuff, and I'm like, oh, my God, I was like a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> how am I squatting 580 pounds, you know? <laughs> so. But, yeah, it's, it's been a learning process. The, the USAPL meet, you look pretty good. Yeah, I feel a lot better doing um, around in that cloud. You know, 198 to 205. You know, I'm a lot fuller. It's closer to my walk around, my normal walk around weights. And I really enjoy doing the same day weigh in. You know, I didn't have to cram. I'm used to having to cram a crazy amount of food and water the day before, and then it just I feel I don't feel that great that on the meat day. Whereas you know there I weighed in, ate a stack of pancakes, drank a Pedialyte, and I was ready to roll. Nice. What yeah, we us? usually have we do this thing called the triple pan band. It was just the bang band. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Uh, we, we call it a triple bang band. Triple bang band? Yeah. It's where it's, whenever you drop two weight classes, after you weigh in, we usually go to IHOP. Yeah. And then after that, we'll go to somewhere that's more greasier, like, like uh, yeah, like Moe's or you know Panda Express or somewhere like that. Yeah. And then we go, and, ice cream we go and, like ice cream. and we do it all back to back to back. We don't take any breaks in between. Yeah. <laughs> bang bang. The yeah. Triple bang, bang bang. I gotta try that. It's yeah. funny though. Whenever we have new people with us and their uh, talents, like, oh yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, I can do this much and that much. <laughs> yeah, we we destroy it, and uh, and we always finish the night off with like a large pizza, and I'll never forget that last IBP meet we did. We had Marty with us, and it's his first meet, and he tried to eat with us all day, and then it came to the pizza before nighttime, and he was he ate one piece, and he just looks at me and Don, and he goes, "Is this really going to be worth it?" <laughs> and you know, Marty like six seventy five. Yeah. <laughs> So it was just funny. It cracked us up. We was like, ah, but then he didn't eat that piece of pizza. And then the next day, he didn't hit the bench press he wanted. So we were like, yes, that pizza was worth it. <laughs> that is we knew it is effective. We just kind of question ourselves. No, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's a, maybe, we, maybe I need to do that. You're more yeah. welcome to join us next time. 
Triple yeah, bank bang. Yeah, it's definitely fun. It's not so fun cutting two weight classes the weeks two prior, yeah. but you know. <clears throat> Bree, do you have any? Uh, you going to compete anytime? Anytime in the future, soon, or are you just training? Um, I don't have any time like that in mind. I really haven't been in the gym much here lately at yeah. all. <laughs> but that's uh, understandable. Yeah, that's, I mean, I've really gotten the itch for it again. Just you know, we're down here in the gym right now, and I'm like walking around, pacing, ready to touch something. <laughs> but. Um, it's just, it's I just, just, just got to take it as it comes because, because, you know, you know when you compete, you really got to commit. And I'm really committed at being a mom right now. And I know you can do both, but that's just my commitment right now. Yeah, I think that's, that's a smart decision. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should probably be a mom, you know, before a power lifter. Yeah. Like, you can't walk yet, so, you know. <laughs> no, I don't really support Don and he's doing his lifting and having his free time out of the house and, you know, getting back into his routine and everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I'm, I'm sure that when you have a kid that, like, changes everything completely. Yeah, like, you don't even, you don't even expect it. You don't even realize how things are going to change. Realize how things are going to change, but just priorities in general. Yeah, like, I mean, obviously, I don't know. I'm 22 with no kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about raising a kid. I just, like, put him in the corner, give him a bottle, be like, I hope, hope you don't die or something. <laughs> well, and that's it. It's like, no one really knows. We're just figuring it out. And so I'd rather just focus on it instead of focusing on, you know, adding up to my total. <laughs> my total. <laughs> yeah, you can, add, you can add pounds to your squat later. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to stay strong enough to carry him around, <laughs> which is a struggle. <laughs> so when, when do babies start walking? Like, is there a like set month? It, I'd say a year is like our right speed. I think so. I think my youngest just walked at like nine months or so, but yeah. I ain't sure. Sometimes it's earlier. Like my oldest, uh, nine, she didn't walk until like she was like a year, a little over a year so. It all just depends. He's, really. he's working on crawling right now. Right now. He rolls over like a champ. He can roll anywhere he wants. <laughs> but, yeah, he's trying to crawl right now. It's pretty right. exciting for us. The yeah, key is to making them work their legs early in the first couple months. Just making them squat, basically. <laughs> and leg press, <laughs> hamstring curls. Any way you can get them to do active movements. You know. Yeah, creatine in their bottles. Yeah, <laughs> protein shakes. Hey, that's why he's twenty pounds. Oh. We know the secret now. <laughs> oh man, that's Don sprinkling way into those bottles. Oh yeah. Oh, sure. So what well, upcoming don't... meets? Or go ahead, Andrew. Oh, I was I, I was doing the same thing. Y'all got any? <laughs> yeah, Don, Don, Stephen, y'all competing any any meets coming up? Um, I got this um, USAPO meet um, coming up in August, like the 18th and 19th. Okay. It's the, I think it's the Southeast Regional Championship. Okay. And, uh, Jennifer Thompson's running it, and uh, so it's basically the North Carolina lifters, South Carolina, Georgia. Uh, I can't remember all the states, but you can only, from those states. only be a lifter from those states to compete in this. And I guess basically the top guys out of this. Would yeah. give you a good idea if you want to go to the nationals, you know, raw nationals or what. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a little excited about it because it's in Charlotte. Okay. But, yeah, I'm a little excited because my first meet, it placed me at uh, number two in North Carolina and uh, number 28 in the USA, so in the USAPO. So it would give me a good measuring stick going to this meet to – See what I want to do the rest of the year. Yeah, definitely, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. It's like 250 lifters. I think four platforms. It's gonna be a little intense. Yeah. Hey man, you're you're a freak. You can just go up there and show them all up. <laughs> nah, I hope it. I've had a I've had trouble getting back into meat prep lately. 
So yeah. it's, it's always tough for me coming out of a meet prep, you know, hitting the numbers you do, and then realizing you just can't turn around and train right off that stuff. You know, you kind of got to build your body right back up, and sometimes it gets tedious, and it takes that mind a little bit to flip to you get in that meat mode. So, Are you saying yeah. 205 for that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it allows me to stay close to the 198 range if I decide to do a, you know, another meet with you guys at IBP or, a, you know, another USBA meet. I just like that um, weight class, really. Nice. Don't come take all your records, Andrew. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> I ain't got a problem with it. Yeah, if I may, if, me and Don are possibly talking about doing IBP Nationals, but it's not for sure yet. But if we do, I might I might try to make a, a 98. Yeah, a 98 come on down. <laughs> <laughs> you should. I mean, I guess technically, I, guess, I don't even know. I guess my records are in the juniors because all, all the open records, I guess, are Don's and... Yeah, yeah I think Burleson might have the bench press. Yeah. Yeah, I believe he does. So, hey, if y'all want to become, you know, 22 years old, then come take my record. <laughs> Go back in time. Yeah. That was just something we talked about possibly doing towards the end of the year, but really not for sure yet. Are you yeah, on the 181 no, dog? Yeah, yeah, I'm going 181. Oh, Don! What? Don, I can't make it to 181. You can. I can't. I can't make it. To You'd be looking like a bodybuilder, man. I would be cut up. I'd be. I'd be ridiculously cut up if I went down to 181. Oh, man. Hey, you, you could make it. That last 198 meet I did, I was 216 a week out, and then I made 197. So oh, you, you can do it. Oh, I just don't know if I want to. Yeah, you just need to yeah, add some it, shrink wrap. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it is a pain when you do it like that. It's a lot better when you walk around right beside your weight class, honestly, or just a hair over. Yeah. And it's more optimal for strength, honestly. Oh, yeah. The train there? Because you said you're 184 right now. Do what? You said you're 184 right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think I think that's the way to do it, to train there for a few months. And then, I usually walk around this way. Uh, it's very hard for me to stay in the one night. Yeah. What? Where you going to you gonna pull 700? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's, all I, that's all I want. <laughs> hey, we're waiting on y'all's one leg injuries. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> you can't beat Michael. Dude, you gotta try. You know, was that a was that a picture or was that a video? I just seen him holding it. I ain't so sure if somebody didn't hand him that bar. <laughs> you know? it, I think it was a video. Although he no, did put the weight, and I couldn't tell the weight. It looked like it was like one thirty five or like <laughs> one. I don't know, one forty maybe. You can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all gotta go. I, I'll give you a, I'll give you a prize. I don't really know what it's gonna be yet. But I'll give you something. <laughs> well, I don't know whether to be serious or try to be entertaining. Well, there's yeah. three different categories, you know. <laughs> you gotta maximize one of these categories. <laughs> Would a you 500 a pound one-legged one be worth worthwhile? Would it? Not uh, one-legged. I mean, if you did a 500 pound one-legged, I don't think I'd probably have to give it to you just because. That's absurd. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, but that what? Yeah, you did two twenty five the other day, man. Your control, you just like picked it up and dropped it down, and like I can't. Every time I I lock it out, I like lose my balance some, and I have to like set my second foot down on the ground to lower the weight. It's all that yoga. It's all that yoga. Oh, you do you do a lot of yoga? Yeah. Well, like range of motion movements. Range of motion movements. I mean, yoga is kind of like more spiritual. Kind of like more spiritual. People really don't understand what yoga really means. What? <laughs> I really just work on like mobility and balance stuff mainly. Yeah. No, that's 
I need to do do more stuff like that. Oh yeah, injury prevention for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. I've also heard of like people doing hot yoga. I've never done that before. I don't know. We usually do that in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hates me. Before, but, you know, here in Bryson City, it's about 90 degrees. Oh, man. And I'll come in and turn on the heater. You turn on the heater? Yeah, he turns the heater on. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, my. Yeah, get a little crazy. Yeah, get a little crazy if you want to be in Oh, that's true. That's true. I got, I, I'm just not crazy enough. My craziness is like eating a crap ton of chicken nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys need to make your way down here and train with us sometime. I do, I do. Hey, well, actually, I'm in Huntsville, Alabama now. Oh, are you? Yeah, I, I graduated uh, in May from college. I got a job down here. So I'm actually down here now in the... Which I'll still come up for October. Hopefully. Are you gonna live? I I want to. Um, I'll have to see how I'm feeling. Um, it's kind of been a lot of transitioning lately. You know, new job and like new area and stuff. And like, but sounds like excuses. I know. <laughs> it's a bunch of excuses, is what it is. Hey, I'll stick up for him. He has still been training. Yeah. Hey, I found a really cool gym down here, and it's like. It's cheap. It's like twenty bucks a month. And like it's, a, it's an actual gym. It's not like a crappy YMCA blast in Ariana Grande over the speakers. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> That's what they play in their gym. That boosts your testosterone. <laughs> they got Ariana Grande, and the, the amount of times I've spotted weight with with that girl blasting over the speakers. Oh. <laughs> we uh, back in high school we had this guy. He was our uh, offensive defensive lineman. He's about two eighty, hell of an athlete, and he lifted the Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, we'd get him pumped up before ball games. Oh. I know. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Whatever gets you going, I guess. Yeah, you know exactly. I have to put some T Swift on the song list at the meet. Yeah. <laughs> You never know. Oh, I didn't even tell Timmy this. I met this guy at the at this new gym I'm going to the other day. He's a power lifter. I, I don't know what. I think he weighs like 220 or 240 or something. Anyway, he was telling me his numbers, and like I think he has like a eight, like a mid 1800 total. Huh. Like he's a That's he's strong. A, yeah. He's a really strong dude. That's good. Like he's a he's a pretty he's a pretty big boy. Like he's. A decent amount taller than me. But did you see it? I did see him <laughs> repping out like 600 on the squat one day. So Getting pretty deep, too. Oh, yeah, that's pretty believable. Yeah, he was repping it out. and I'm, If I remember correctly, he was just warming up, and I think he was squatting bare knees. Oh, Lord. Was he and, He's hitting that. I, th- I think he I think he worked up to like something in the mid 600s and he he put wraps on. So he put wraps on towards the end, okay. but he, he's a he's a he seems to be a strong dude. I think he yeah. competes in like SPF meet. Oh lord. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> so, nah, some people just like the I guess the monos and the flex bars and stuff, you know. Well, also I don't since I don't really know much about. The Huntsville powerlifting scene. He apparently he said that the only federations that come here and do meets around this area is SPF, and occasionally USPA will come around here. So, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So I'm not sure if he just competes there because it's the only thing around, or what. Probably so. A lot of people when they're doing it as have hobby, you know. Yeah. Well, you get some connections in that gym, man, and our boy might be coming here. Yep. Hey, that's the, that's the plan. That'd be cool. The big invitation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have, to have a class one or class two. <laughs> yeah. That, that'd be cool. We are we are planning to make a pretty big size gym for that, so that we can have a competition area like that. I do plan on having like, you know, the competition stands in there and all that stuff. So 
<clears throat> yeah, that'd be great. We'd definitely yeah. love to work with you. Yeah, it was uh, the plan was to hopefully have it up by this summer, but things have just kept getting pushed back and pushed back. I'm hoping to have it up by the end of the year. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So you already uh, have a building scoped out and everything? Yeah. Yeah, we just got to get land and everything fixed up and then, you know, throw the building down and then here we go. Oh, oh deal. Is that, is that like a hard process, like finding a building and like having to buy it and like all that stuff? It's not really that. That's not the hard process. The hard process is getting everything prepped and ready and, you know, getting people out here to work. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the hard process. And then, you know, you have like, you have so many steps to get stuff done, but you can't get, you know, X done until you get Y done. And, you know, it can be frustrating, but, you know, you just got to. Stay positive and, you know, the big goal. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, so at the, at the, while we're waiting, waiting, I just continue to upgrade equipment in this side of the gym. So. So. Well, that's exciting, man. I'm getting pumped up just sitting oh, here. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, Tim. Yeah. You aware of the Power Magazine? Yeah. Did you know, sorry if I say his name wrong, was it Theo? Yeah, Theo Ussery. He's in the 148 current top 50 rankings. That's awesome. Yeah, in the Power Magazine. And it has, yeah, it has the Iron Boy Power. That's cool. You have to send me a picture. Yeah, y'all made it finally. Y'all, y'all in the Power Magazine. That's when it's legit. <laughs> hey, we used to be in powerlifting in USA back in the day. That's awesome. I don't know if y'all know that at magazine. Uh-uh. Well, we need to switch the 181 class and the 198 class. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Man. Yeah, but Theo is crazy to bench. What did he say he was going for? Like 360 or something at 148? Yeah, he's right. got a monster bench. Yeah. Well, that's yeah that's Do you know what number he was? Uh, you give me a second. Okay. But yeah, send me a picture of that whenever you... Yeah, I was looking at it yesterday because one of my buddies brought it in here. Check out this new Aspire magazine, and I always just flip to the back and just check the rankings and see which one they featured that month. And then, bam, I seen IBP in there, and I said, like, oh, crap. That's awesome. Cool. 24. Out of 50, hmm. that's good. That's really Probably good. Not even out of 50, out of everybody in the world. Yeah, you have to be 24, you know. Yeah, because that's every single federation. You know, that's not just a single out federation. Steven, Today. 28, so that's real good too. Yeah. Uh, I guess I gotta step up my game, make it up there. <laughs> ah, you will. You're still young. Yeah, that's true. I still got plenty of time. Yeah. yeah. Just gotta stay Y'all, consistent. That's what it's about. Y'all a bunch of old people. <laughs> uh, we're just getting started. We're 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 new in this. We've only been doing it for five years. That's true. Y'all got y'all got a long, long time. That's that's the thing about the the generation of powerlifters coming up now. It's like these twenty year old, nineteen, twenty year olds that are lifting this amount of weight. It's like they've been doing it since they're thirteen. You know, all us older guys. You know, we didn't have access to the sport back in the day. Nobody knew about it. We were doing power cleans and you're getting ready for football practice, you know. Yeah. If it was a sport like this, you know, I, I could say I probably wouldn't even played football. I would have been into something like that, you know, powerlifting. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, all those hits in football add up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, Andrew, do you want to get this game rolling? Yeah, I'm down. Uh, all right, so we play a game on here called White Light, Red Light. Um, so basically, what it is is like we'll ask a question, and then like uh, Stephen and Bree, Don will answer them. And basically, it's like if you like it, you say White Light and give a reason for it, and if you don't like it, you say a Red Light. So, so it's just a just a fun little. <clears throat> game. Okay, Bree done left with the baby. Oh, yeah, she, she had left? to. Yeah, she had to go watch my babies. <laughs> oh, that's okay. She's got more important stuff to do. She's yeah, got so. to take care of these babies. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, so let's see. Let's pick one. All right. White light, red light, Olympic lifting shoes. White light. Red light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's y'all's reasons behind that? 
What do y'all like for like about it? Well, I just choose flats. It makes my knees feel better. Hmm. I've had a ACL repair. So I kind of shift my weight a little bit. And when I'm in flats, I help me sit back on my heels a little bit. That's just the reason why I like Yeah. And then I prefer them just because I have really bad ankle mobility, or at least used to have bad ankle mobility, because I've had three ankle surgeries myself. Ooh. And uh, so it really, I struggled hitting depth early on in my powerlifting career. And so I went to I went to heels, and it really opened up my hips to where now, you know, I can I could hit depth in flats if I wanted to. But I yeah. don't necessarily suggest that beginners always throw on squat shoes. But if you have bad ankle mobility, I always think it does help. Yeah, no, it definitely does help. I'm kind of, I'm kind of along the lines of I, I prefer flats, but you know, some people really do like those heels, and like they really do help. Uh, yeah. Especially, especially, I did You had three ankle surgeries. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've had a complete reconstructive ankle surgery on my right foot. Yeah. Wait, which one was the one that uh, Don talked about in high school? Was that the first one? Um, I was in a car wreck when I was 12. I was thrown off the back of a truck. Mm. Oh, like 70 Whoa. yeah what? so uh, what? yeah I so I, I basically didn't have a foot and they had to put it together and so the, so the past the, the surgeries i've had over and over was cleaning everything up and you know that's why i can squat so much because he's like iron man <laughs> <laughs> well i'm just glad you're alive dude yeah yeah me too it was it was definitely uh, i was banged up pretty good Good, broke both my hips and then shattered my foot. But yeah, and then before I transferred over to the school with Don, uh, I had another surgery to clean everything up. And ever, after that surgery, it really helped me a lot. What? <laughs> this is like blowing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? That's crazy. You had all, all of that, and like you're still over here, like squatting, repping. Yeah. Up yeah, I just got, I got to be strategic with stuff like my movement. You know, I can't, I can't do a whole lot of you know, running and walking and everything and then still squat in the day. Like, so if I know that I'm going to squat the next day, I have to really limit my movement because my arthritis is so bad in that foot now. Uh, but uh, it's, better than it used it's to a lot be. better than it used to be the way I've been able to handle it and, you know, worked it over the years, but I'd still have to keep an eye on it. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. is, it, is the arthritis really painful? It's just like when... I used to have to push mow like my my place out here, and it would be like eight miles of walking basically down and back. And if Holy I had to squat the next day, it, it wouldn't happen just because of the pressure. I couldn't put the pressure on my foot. It would be painful. Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I got like – I remember when they had the – when they cleaned my foot up in um, – I guess it was when I was like 18, and uh, they said I basically had the foot at 18 of like a 30-year-old then. So, <laughs> oh my goodness! But, um, you know, at least I can walk. You know, at least I can walk, run, still lift weights. You know, I'm thankful for sure. Yeah, definitely. Wow, that's, that's that is insane. Uh, T Pain, you want to throw out a question? All right, red light, white light, going commando during the meet. Red light. <laughs> Red light. <laughs> yeah, red light for sure. Uh, maybe if they made those singlets a bit more comfy. <laughs> yeah. You just want to show off, Andrew. <laughs> I just want to be restricted, you know. Uh, um. um <laughs> Imagine if you squat things. Yeah. Mm. All right. Let's do. Let's do one more. So, white light, red light, training with deadlift straps. Yellow. <laughs> I'm gonna agree with Don on this as well. Yellow. The first yellow answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are your thoughts on that? Well. I hook grip, and I've got so I've comfortable, got so comfortable that that I'll use straps. I'll use straps if I just don't feel like But I usually work all the way up to my heaviest set and then do one or two sets hook grip, and then I'll finish off the straps. Okay. 
And then for me, as an over-under, you know, your grip needs to be right. So I prefer to train without straps all the time. And especially, you know, if you're using straps, you're basically a double overhand. I mean, it's going to shorten your distance a little bit, kind of like a hood grip. Yeah. So if you get used to locking out a little lower all the time, you know, you're only kind of handicapping yourself. Now, if you're getting ready for a meet or something and you're having to keep an eye on a callus from tearing, I understand wraps. But if you're, put, if you're putting on straps just to get more weight or get more reps or just ego s type stuff then you know it's a waste of time yeah no i feel you on that especially if you're a mixed grip like that, yeah. that's part that's part of the lift like the grip. Yeah. yeah you can't if you can't hold the weight it does no good if you've lifted it before with straps yeah like what good is it do to keep repping out these heavy deadlifts if you can't hold it yeah like, sure. no, i'll show you there Ugh. Well, it, it's been a lot of fun having having all y'all on and uh, just talking to y'all about your gym and stuff. That's really cool. Um, yeah, it's been real fun. We really enjoyed it. Just like I said, the invites for any time you guys want to come get in, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do y'all want to plug the gym one more time? Do y'all want to like, announce anything going on or like, do want to say anything else about it? Yeah, with um, the big powerlifting club, <clears throat> you can you can check us out on Instagram. We have a Facebook too, but we haven't been on it forever, you know. But our our Instagram's at Big Club Sixteen. You know, we just specialize in training, you know, strength athletes, powerlifters, and even you know, aspiring bodybuilders. Really, not for the average gym bro or just the average person, but for serious athletes where serious athletes can train together and get better. Yeah, I think that's great. I'm I'm excited to see what what y'all build when you branch out. Oh Me yeah. Too. <clears throat> I'll definitely have to make a trip there. Yeah, we look forward to it. First time free. Hey, hey there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make yeah, it count. To join, you know, I uh, you know, if you was to join with us, I I program you. That's included. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, that's something you know that a lot of people. Will don't know what to do when it comes to training and programming so you know they join us and i kind of guide them a little bit no matter where their experience level is i hook them up with the program and get them started off yeah that's great that you provide that yeah well do y'all want to plug your own instagrams i'm good <laughs> <laughs> don deletes yeah, I mean, is about five times a year yeah he's he's not big on the social media, mine's at Big Strength Steve. So you can find me there. There's nothing too crazy or exciting. Just training the vlog most of the time. Occasional stuff for me and my girls. But okay. You know. Well, like uh, Andrew said, thank y'all for joining us. We had all kinds of fun. Yeah, we appreciate you guys for having us. We'll definitely get y'all on again. Yeah, it'd be it'd be fun to to get y'all on again, and then uh, possibly do some like. One on one with one of y'all, we can talk more training and stuff, get more in depth. Oh yeah, for sure. What? Well, that's it for this episode. Remember, be a bad influencer. Be a bad influencer in the gym. Be a bad influencer in the way you live life. Be a bad. <laughs> Go. It doesn't matter. You're part of the team, big. We don't take suckers. We don't take suckers. <laughs> the weak people. They run on the statues. I'm tired of these weak people in my gym. You go through the qualifications. Flip big. Eat big. Be a bad influencer. <laughs> We out. <laughs> Please subscribe and thank you for listening. Be sure to follow at Check My Total on Instagram for all the latest updates. Don't forget the IBP South Carolina State Powerlifting Championships in Spartanburg, South Carolina on August the 18th. For more information about the competition, please visit ironboypowerlifting.com. All right. Well, that was weird. Uh, okay. Yeah, the storm the storm knocked out my internet and so T Pain T Pain's over here, so it knocked out our internet. Oh, oh you're good, man. Oh, you're good, man. Alright. Okay. So <laughs> Olympic lifting shoes. Why you give it a red, why you give it a white? Did you hear any of it? No. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just talking to ourselves. Yep. <laughs>